Rocket's been kicking ass lately with some fantastic products, and I've got another one lined up for you guys as we take a look at the torch. I'm your host, James G, Next Level Gaming, and this is The Rundown. Alright guys, welcome back. James G, Next Level Gaming. It's another episode of The Rundown. Thank you once again for tuning in. We're taking a look at Rocket's latest, the Torch microphone. Fantastic microphone. I'm going to definitely break this bad boy down for you. We're taking a look at the design and the build quality, how easy it is to connect, the different features you get with this microphone, and of course the mic test. So stay locked in because I'm breaking everything down for you guys. So let's not waste any time. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's talk design and build quality before we get into connectivity or some of the features and, of course, the bike test later on in this review. So very simplistic design. It's got a you know metal stand enclosed in plastic. It's Everything is hard plastic, but you know what? It's not flimsy. It's not built like crap. Uh, it sits well on your desk like I'm using it right now. I didn't run into any issues where you know I hit my chair into my desk or I need my desk and it shakes around. It's, uh, it's very sturdy. It sits well. If you don't want to have it on the mixer stand right now, you can actually unscrew it. And you uh, if you have a boom arm like I do, microphone, phone stand or boom arm whatever it may be uh, you're actually able to uh, use that and install it on there so it works well it has a threaded uh, mount that comes with it but if yours isn't compatible just jump on Amazon pick one up five ten bucks and you're basically you know good to go so aside from that it's got some swivel features here that if you know you're, you're in a setting where you want to have a bunch of people chatting you can change the pickup patterns to incorporate that if you're doing a podcast with two or three other people or doing an interview you're able to you know maneuver this and and it will work well. So aside from you know dismantling it and putting on a boom arm, aside from the sturdy stand and all that, let's talk about how easy it is to connect the Torch microphone because it's probably one of the easier microphones to set up. You don't need a desktop app or anything like that. Obviously, if you're going to be streaming, you know you're using Streamlabs or, or OBS, whatever it is, you have that mixer. You'll be able to you know connect it up there and check some of the levels and stuff like that. So on the backing here. Very, very easy to set up. So Rocket has made it easy. So if you're just, you know, entering streaming or you're a newbie to microphones and you just want something, you know, to just get you started, uh, they've made it so easy. It comes with a bunch of different cables, well, two different cables uh, that you're able to set up. So one right here is type C right into the backing from the microphone to the back of the mixer. And also you've got the one going into your PC. Now, if you're setting it up with a microphone stand or boom arm, it has a longer cable like this, so you're able to move the mixer wherever you may want it to be, wrap your cable around the boom arm, you know, run some straps, tie straps, whatever it is. So you have that option, you know, if you're using it for, uh, you know, interviews, whatever you can bring, it's got that longer cable that connect to your PC, laptop, whatever it may be. So it's just very easy. And on top of that, they made it even easier is that every single cable tells you exactly where it needs to go. So it shows you a picture right here on the cable that it goes from the microphone to the mixer, from the uh, mixer to your PC. So just very easy. I'm glad Rocket put that together. And it's just great that they've kind of uh, geared this more towards like, you know, just a, you know, a simple audience. You're not looking at those hardcore like audio junkies that are just, you know, want to drop five, six hundred bucks on a microphone. You know, you can pick this up and you're literally good to go. Plug and play. No apps. No nothing. Just easy setup. And uh, the price tag, I'll tell you right now, it's a hundred bucks and it's pretty good quality uh, for what you're getting and some of the features. Uh, you know, compared to some of its rivals out there right now, but I will definitely show you mic test so you guys can hear the quality as well uh, later on, like I said. So some other features on the uh, Torch, I'm gonna show you guys quickly right now. So obviously here is the mixer. So it's cool that it comes with the mixer so you're able to mess around with it here. You've got your gain control here. You're able to mute the microphone from the actual uh, device here uh, on the mixer and you've got your different pickup patterns. Now, my favorite feature on the Torch is how I can just go like this, the swipe to um to mute and swipe to unmute is such a key feature so when i've had it on my boom arm it's just easy i gotta run to the washroom when i'm streaming or grab a drink whatever it be swipe over you're good to go love how they've incorporated different coloring for each of the pickup patterns so i can show you right here you've got purple you've got uh, green and then you've got blue uh so different uh, different colors for each different uh pickup pattern you have cardioid stereo and uh, whisper which is an exclusive from torch or uh, from rocket story and that's just you know you don't have to talk too loud you can talk quietly whatever it may be and it'll still pick up your uh your audio and everything too but i'll show you guys that in the uh in the uh, mic test after i'll show you each different uh, sound quality on the uh 
on the dial and on the pickup pattern. So aside from that, really well done in terms of different uh, options that you want to choose for pickup patterns. Uh, you can use the mixer, so easy. And of course, the swipe to mute is just brilliant in my uh, in my opinion. So really cool stuff from Rocket there. Now, let's jump into the mic test because you're not going to buy a microphone unless you hear the sound quality and actually what it sounds like because I can ramble and tell you, yeah, it sounds great. But without showing you guys or like letting you listen to it, how are you really going to determine if you're going to pick up this microphone? So let's go. All right, guys, so we are doing the mic test for the torch from Rocket here. So I'm currently using the cardioid pickup pattern. I've got the gain up pretty, uh, you know, pretty close to full blast here. But obviously, you're not really hearing too much audio distortion right now. Uh, I'm pretty close from the uh, microphone, but not too close. And you're hearing how good this, you know, picks up my audio. Uh, and there's no, uh, you know, there's no issues in how far I am away from this. I can push it even further back. You're obviously going to hear, uh, you know, about an arm length, uh, you know, way here. You're obviously going to hear a little bit of distance in the audio, but overall, it still sounds really good if you're going to have a couple people doing a podcast you want to change the pickup pattern to stereo or even leave it in cardioid uh, you're still able to pick up a lot of audio around you uh, mind you there is some uh, you know issues with picking up some background noise but nothing like too crazy where it's really going to distort your audio whether you're streaming or work or school whatever it may be but uh, you can't go wrong I'm going to bring it back right up here and put it where I usually uh, leave it on my stand but I also do on the boom arm where I've got it closer to uh, to my face and where I'm talking when I'm streaming. Uh, so overall, well built. Love the features with the mixer. That uh, swipe to mute is key. If you don't like that, you can just press the button on here. The different pickup patterns, Whisper, Stereo, and Cardioid. Uh, it's got a, uh, you know, dual, uh, you know, condenser capsule built into the microphone. And the best feature on this is that pop filter that's built in. So you won't have to shell out another $30, $40. Because a lot of the rival microphones to the Torch, you don't have a built-in uh, pop filter. So for example, Elgato's, uh, you know, one of Elgato's latest microphones does not have a uh, built-in pop filter so you're gonna have to shell some cash out for that so why not just spend a minimal amount get a good sounding microphone for you know if you're up and coming streamer or you're using it for school and work and only just drop a hundred bucks instead of dropping two three hundred dollars on a microphone so uh, in terms of connectivity and the features it's well done anybody can set this up it's so easy to use and uh, just overall fantastic microphone for the price tag and honestly man rocket's been kicking ass lately with some of their products coming out so why not add this to you know your stream your work setup or whatever you may be using it so that's it for the microphone test and like i said i was in cardioid there's stereo and whisper so whatever you want to use it's definitely there for you so that's it thank you for tuning into this episode of the rundown as we took a look at the torch from rocket so please hit that like and subscribe for, uh, button guys and we'll catch you guys in the next episode of the rundown james g next level gaming take it easy